Hey guys, I'm back working on Almond's Ram again, and we're gonna do what I think is one of the best bang for your buck accessories you can put in the back of a truck, a hard tunnel cover. Today we're going to be installing Backflip's G2 tunnel cover. Now this is my pickup as an example. The reason why I like this particular tunnel cover is it's really the first one in the market to one, have a flush design with your bed rails so it looks nice and sleek and two, it actually works with a lot of head rake racks. So this is the back rack, not the same company, but the backflip and the back rack actually really work well together. Now before you start the install, what I like to do is I like to spray these support rods that hold the tunnel cover up against the cab with some, just some spray on truck bed liner because it's just durable and it's cheap. Um, mine started to corrode a little bit over time. Granted I was putting things in the bed that most people don't, but still while you have it out of the truck before you start the install, give it a quick coat so that way when you're finishing the install it's all nice and dry and ready to go. Okay, now the first step you're going to do is you're going to install the rails. Now on some vehicles, you don't, you don't have this plastic cover like a drop bed bed liner or like these rams, they have the plastic cover already on top. So you'll have to put down the provided weather stripping or little rubber insulator if you will. So we don't have to do that so we can already go ahead and test fit our railing system. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure the tailgate's closed. Now you're ready to install the clamping system. So this is basically all it is, is this clamps on the bottom part of the railing system onto the actual bed rail and it's grooved because there actually are grooves in the bed rail itself so it hangs onto it. So all you need is a socket wrench or some sort of gear wrench to make your life easier because they've already countered the nut on this side over here. So you just need to go ahead and we're just going to snug it down for now. We're not going to make this thing super tight until we got everything in. Our first clamp installed is roughly about 6 to 8 inches from the front of the bed. Our second clamp is directly in the middle of the bed. Mounts the exact same way. Okay, now we're installing our third clamp. This one again is 6 to 9 inches away from the tailgate. What I should also mention is when you're doing these clamps, when you're finally securing them down, is to push down on the top of the rail while you're tightening it to make sure that you get a good seal for the railing system. Now we're ready to place the tunnel cover down in its folded up position. So this truck doesn't have a drop-in bed liner, it has a spray-in liner, but this part on the original part of the truck sits higher than here. So we're going to go ahead and install the seal that comes with the truck, uh, that comes with the uh, backflip tunnel cover. I've already cut it to length and everything. So you just go ahead and apply it. And this will help give us a better seal. This will really minimize the dust getting in the truck, especially on a logging truck or something. Now you're ready to secure the front portion of the tunnel cover to the truck. So what's going to involve is, is installing this bolt onto those holes I'll show you later. And then you're going to have your rubber washer come up and then your metal washer 
and then finally you're going to have a lock washer and then just hand thread it in. So here we are underneath tightening it. So you can see here's the rubber washer, then the metal one, then your locking washer. And then you can just snug it down by hand. Now don't he-man this on because this sheet isn't that strong on these. And you can continue to suck in and pull in the aluminum. And then you're going to have a divot on top, so just make it snug. Okay, so you're almost done. Now we're testing now the operation of the tunnel cover onto the cat. Now be very careful at this point because I don't have these guys on here yet. So I'm just lightly putting it up against the cab to see where it actually makes contact. Now there's actually a contour on the back of this cab so the sides don't touch at all. It's actually all in the middle here. Okay, so you've removed the film on it. Now you're ready to place it down. Again, double checking where you want to go. I would place it onto the back flip. You could place it on the cab, but that would look kind of silly. So I'm actually just going to put two side by side. And clean the surface again because you don't know how dirty it came from, from the factory. Okay, now you're going to install your draining system. Now all it is is this tube that comes with the tunnel cover and it just slips on and then you can place wherever you want, well, you can put it wherever you want. Now I decided, because I had enough of a drop, I decided to go from the drain port here right into where the stake pockets go. Because it still has the covers on, Alma's never going to use the stake pockets, so we decided to put them in here to give it a nice clean look. That way when you load anything to the bed, nothing's going to slam into this tube if it were to drop down. And I just think it looks cleaner. But there are other options. Let's say you do use your stake pockets or you have a headache rack of some sort and you just want that clear. Um, there's spots down, there are grommets down low over here which can punch through and on the side or you can just drill a hole in the bed. Now when you're cutting it, you can cut this to length because it's just a long length. I would recommend using some sort of cutting tool like this to give it a nice clean cut. Now for our final piece, you're ready to put in those support rods. So they're already been painted like I showed you before, and they just it's just a ball and socket set up right here, just click it in, and then place it into the holder. Okay, good. So you've come very, pretty much come to the end of my video. So I want to show you a special little tip because the people that ducked out early don't get to see this. I love the backflip, there is one thing I don't like about it. This is the release cable for the locking tabs. Now I see nothing wrong with this design, for the most part it will work a long time, but you guys know I'm pretty meticulous. What I don't like is this is like pretty much square tubing aluminum which they cut, but it's kind of sharp. Now you could file it to smooth it out, but why would you spend all that time? Because what happens if you feel this on the release point? As you're releasing, you can, it, it feels like it's digging in, I never liked that about it. So I just use this. Now these are the same, these are P-clips or plastic cable clamps that we use in installs and it's the same style that they use to actually hold in those support rods. So hopefully backflip's watching right now. So what I do is I place it on like that to act as a bushing if you will. But now, when this cable pulls, it's going to pull and slide on the plastic. It's not going to go on that metal edge. So I want to go over a C fit, whether I'm pulling this way or this way. On this particular middle one, I'm probably going to just put it on both ends because it's easy. And then on the other ends, if I'm only pulling forward, I would need to go on the one side. Okay, so now I have all four corners done on this particular one, so now you can see the cable moves nice and smoothly on these on these plastic pieces. 
Now you might notice after installation, the weather stripping might be a little bit wavy. Don't worry about it. These things probably sit in the warehouse for a long time, all folded up in the cardboard box. So what we can do is, one, if it's a hot day, just leave it out in the sun and it'll straighten itself out. Or use some sort of heat gun or a hair dryer. So you've tested everything, it fits good, it works good, it looks good. So how practical is the backflip? Well, for instance, let's say you're at Ikea. You're on an Ikea date with a girl, and you happen to bring your truck. Well, she decides she wants to buy something, and lucky for her, you're more useful than a guy with a one-piece tunnel cover. access to the bed. Or, let's say, like they like to advertise, I don't do this, but some of you might want to. This is now a bench. Now you can put weight on top of these things. They recommend on the G2 is roughly about 200 pounds evenly distributed. It's not the strongest tunnel cover in the world. So there are some limitations to it. Or if you have a business, um, you sell stuff on the side of the highway. You know, put your sign over there and show people, yeah, it's, it's neat. And when you close it, always make sure that you have the top up. Close the tailgate and then close the top. Backflip G2 is available at sites like autoanything.com. I'm going to post the link in the description below. If you want to see other videos like this, check out my channel, AnthonyJ350. Also, make sure to check out my website at www.gofasthavefun.ca.